Hey y'all, it's Jenny Tolman. Welcome back to the Hey Good Cookin' Kitchen. The weather is turning cooler. It's time for some bonfire nights. It is fall, and what is fall without apple cider? So today we're making apple cider donuts that you are going to <laughs> fall in love with. <laughs> is that super cheesy? I mean, obviously it's supposed to be. Awesome. Okay. This recipe is gluten-free, dairy-free, egg-free, soy-free, refined sugar-free, but full of flavor and warm, fuzzy fall feelings. So let's go ahead and get started. The very first step we're gonna do is turn our ovens to 350 degrees and take one and a half cups of our apple cider over to a small pot so that we can start simmering it so that it reduces down and makes a nice, thick, syrupy consistency for our donuts. So while our apple cider is simmering and reducing, that's gonna take about 15 to 20 minutes, we're going to go ahead and assemble our dry ingredients while we're waiting on that. So I have one and a half cups of gluten-free flour. This is the King Arthur one-to-one -one flour blend. It's my personal favorite. We're gonna take three-fourths cups of coconut sugar. Whenever there's a recipe that usually uses brown sugar, I always opt for coconut sugar because it's just a little bit healthier lower on the glycemic index. You'll take two teaspoons of apple pie spice. If you don't have this, you can make your own. I actually made my own today with one teaspoon of cinnamon, a half a teaspoon of nutmeg, and a fourth a teaspoon of cloves. Dump that deliciousness in there. A teaspoon each of baking soda and baking powder, and a fourth a teaspoon of sea salt. Blend those all together. Move on to our wet ingredients. Here I have a fourth a cup of unsweetened applesauce. I like to use the cinnamon kind, the kind that has cinnamon in it. Or then we have a fourth a cup of avocado oil. You can use any unflavored oil that you like. You can use melted butter if you want, but I like to use avocado oil when I'm baking because it's a little healthier alternative than a canola oil or anything like that. We're now going to take a teaspoon of vanilla extract and a teaspoon of apple cider vinegar. Mix that all together. All right, so we're over here checking on our apple cider. We want it to reduce down to about a half a cup. So it's not quite there yet, but we'll keep an eye on it. Our apple cider has reduced down to a half a cup. You do not want to skip this step because this is what is going to give us that really strong apple cider flavor. I usually let it cool down for about 10 to 15 minutes so it's not boiling when you pour it into your mixture. But we're just gonna add it to our wet mixture and then add that final wet mixture into our dry. We are making our final dough for our donuts. I preacher always love donuts, you know why? because they're holy. <laughs> we have our donut consistency ready to go, and we're just gonna spoon these into our greased donut pan. Our donuts are ready to go into the oven at 350 for 12 minutes. While our donuts are baking in the oven, we're gonna go ahead and make that cinnamon sugar coating that we're gonna put on them when they come out. I've taken three tablespoons of coconut sugar and put it into my bowl already, and one teaspoon of cinnamon. And we're just gonna mix both of those together, and that's going to be our nice, healthy version of cinnamon sugar coating. It's time to check on our donuts. Don't they just look like fall? They definitely smell like fall. <laughs> We're gonna let them sit for just a few minutes to cool off a bit, but we don't want them to cool off completely because the heat is what's gonna help our cinnamon sugar coating stick to these. All right, we have our hot donuts. We're going to dip that in our cinnamon sugar. Get it all up in there. Y'all, I cannot tell you how good my house smells right now. These look so good, I cannot wait to have a bonfire and share them with all my friends. So if you're going to a bonfire, any type of fall outing, I highly recommend these. If you make them, be sure to tag me, let me know how they turned out, and happy fall. 